Good morning, and welcome to Winnipeg. Yeah, I guess I clunked her down pretty hard there. Something rattled in here. <laughs> well, at least our weight didn't fall off. I, yeah, this actually this could come off now. It's been on since I put it on yesterday. Now, speaking of yesterday. When I was coming back on the e-bike, I passed an Amazon truck and I said this. I wonder if this guy's got my package. I'm expecting a package. I'll have to show it to you in the model ship if I do. Okay. Now what we're going to have to do is open it up because I also said I'll... Uh, do it during the model ship <laughs> series which is right now so uh, it's nothing special nothing special I just just wanted to show you what I got it... yeah there is something in there <laughs> just barely okay let's uh, let's recompose here our uh, our sunrise this morning I I didn't see it happen so I don't know if it's uh, you know Good, bad, or ugly, you know, as the saying goes. Uh, so, uh, and I had, haven't seen our walkers yet either. So, uh, mind you, they, they generally come by right about now. So, uh, it's, it's possible they'll be passing by. Uh, anyway. Let's, uh, let's recompose here and uh, see if we can do a little bit uh, uh, of stuff model related for a change. And, uh, but, but we'll open our Amazon package first and I'll show you what I got. Okay. I've been meaning to buy these for years and uh, I, I could have used one of them the other day when I was out building the e-box e-box I mean the bike box and uh, I'm so used to saying e-bike okay maybe I'll uh, I'll uh, recompose here, move in just a little bit. I wonder if they're any good. <laughs> the price was sure right. Usually uh, you get what you pay for and when it comes to tools. Anyway, let, let's, uh, let's move in a bit here. Well, so far I am pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I'll, I'll know better when I uh, put the tips under the microscope and, and look at it. You know, is the bevel look right? I've, I've had some drill bits that were more like a sharpened nail. But uh, these ones look good so far. The, the edge feels nice and sharp. Uh, but it's down here where it counts. And yep, made in China. Yeah, we here in North America, what happened? We're making real good quality tools. And then we unionized, and our union leaders said, go on strike, you'll get more money. And we just priced ourselves right out of the world market, and consequently, we're not making, well, I was going to say nothing, but comparatively, we're making nothing to what we used to. Yep. Okay, the... The angle of the bevel looks like it is right. And it's a lot better than some of these cheap bits I've seen. However, what I am seeing is on the leading edge of the cutting the cutting edge you might say, there are there are burrs. Now I don't know if that'll come off the first time you you know, try to drill a piece of wood, because it this is just Near as I can tell, this, these things are only good for wood, and that's that's what I cut them for. Now I don't know if I can get that burr out of there. Now 
maybe one of uh, Chris's files here, just for the fun of it. Now, <laughs> I, should, I suppose what I should do, it must be frustrating to you to not be able to see. Oh yeah, the, 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 bird, the, the bird just came out right off. Um, so it, I, guess, I guess they're okay. Actually, for the money, they're okay. Yeah, you know, take my word for it. <laughs> it's it's too hard to put the camera onto this microscope, so it takes too much time. I probably lose half an hour, and I already spent enough time here, wasted enough time here. Let's do something here. Okay. Now these six pieces here, uh, seven if you include this piece here as well as having to insert in various places like here like this this one for instance it's going to go something like this it also has to match up with its counterpart over here and i'm trying to figure out what is going to be the best way now to to get these and and you know, fit it into place and then maybe glue them afterwards because I, I know a person could take and you know, just, just drop all the parts down. Oh, another problem I've got is I've, I've noticed that the, I, I don't know if you can see it down there, you should be able to see it, that, but this does not, should be more like that and yet if I if I do then I'm, then this, this piece is Whoops, careful Ron. No, everything's okay. Um, yeah, then th th this piece is going to become bowed. So I, I don't know what I'm going to do there because this is already glued tight. I should have, I should have noticed that before when I was trying to glue everything into place here. Because um, it is glued very solidly right now. Uh, yeah so i'm wondering it would it be better maybe to let's just very carefully grab it here just put put it together There's a, I know there's a hole there somewhere for that slot to fit into. There it is. Okay, it's all fit into place here. So, I haven't tried this yet. I know I had my rubber band here, but I haven't actually tried this. This is, this is not a real, real strong rubber band, so it's not going to hurt anything. I'm wondering if... Let's take this off for a moment. No, don't fall over. <laughs> okay, now put this back. Now, if we very carefully use this rubber band to keep tension on everything, like that. Okay, now it should basically stay together. Everything is pretty much, let's see if we can get this pig in the right spot here. I'm sorry that I keep getting my hands in the way here. Okay, now what I'm trying to do is get this, There's, there is a slot there. It was in before, where is it now? Oh, it had to go down, not up. All right, we got it. Okay, now everything is, is basically locked into place here. And we should be able to not worry about it falling apart. Yeah. 
All right, now, all being well, we should be able to put these various pieces in. I'm using this as an example. This one go in here, and then maybe it'd be better to put this end in first, wherever it has to go. I can't see it. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, Ron, for heaven's sakes. Okay. Anyway, you get the idea. Now, I was kind of worried before about the fact that we we might be able, not be able to get this piece in. You know how it, this is the piece that it says uh, put in, in first. Now, um, maybe... Uh, anyway, uh, Ozzy Frenchman had a good idea. He said, why don't you just cut the tabs off? And then you can just sort of drop it down to place. And that way you don't need to wedge anything apart. So that that's a thought, too, that I'm going to keep in mind. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you guys are giving me lots of good ideas. And I appreciate them. Uh, just because uh, all you maybe get is a thumbs up instead of a big, long epistle, uh, it uh, doesn't mean I don't appreciate your comments. So I appreciate all your suggestions, all your comments. Even the negative ones. <laughs> um, okay, unless it's something like, uh, hey, I noticed you didn't stop at that stop sign. You know, I, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> okay, let's uh, carry on here. Now, if we have this bulkhead and this bulkhead in place, we cannot put this in. Because this, as near as I can tell, is the only piece that has to go, that has to pass through little holes all the way along, like, like right here, and here, and here, and here. So we have to get this piece in place first. I, I think Trumpeter should have said put this in place first, but uh, it, it doesn't seem to have any anything on this bulkhead that it plugs into, or on this one, I've checked. At least not that I, unless I missed it. Um, so I guess the the thing to do is is to take this 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 bulkhead off again, and uh, I want to be very careful that my elastic band doesn't go and snap onto something like the little microphone down here or something like that. So. Now, where did it go? Oh. <laughs> okay, so this has to go, and I believe it goes this way up. Everything's lining up quite nicely. Yeah, that's got to go in there like that. And I don't think it would matter if it was glued or not glued. It can just just sit there. I mean, it's not going to fall out once, once this uh, bulkhead goes on. Um, all the other components do not have to fit through a slot like this. So, uh, okay. I think I'm going to install these two larger ones first. And I do not have the uh, overhead, the other bulkhead on. I was going to say overhead bulkhead, but I meant the, uh, anyway, the counterpart to this. So, um, I'm hoping that Okay, now this one is going to go in this side right here. And I'm hoping that when I get the glue in that hole, it's going to meld the paint. Uh, and, and then the idea will be that, that once this is basically in place, I'll be able to move it around to get it to match up at the other end. At least that's the plan. Um, it seems to me that one of the viewers or somebody's mentioned getting this module together was was difficult 
And yes, it is, but it's not impossible. Uh, where's my glue here? Okay, we'll just put put some glue in that hole and soften that hole. Okay, that's lots. Okay, now maybe we'll just put a little on this peg. And get this back out of the way where I'm not going to knock it over. I'm making a smeary mess here. Can't seem to find the hole. I cannot find the hole. I'm going to have to repaint. I can sort of see it there, but why is this? There that it's in it's in okay I think it's in and I think it's seated about as far as it's gonna go and it almost wants to stay there by itself but I think it's gonna fall over you know I should have I'm gonna have to rig up a little you can't see it but uh, up at the top I'm, I'm holding it in place here Otherwise, it's probably going to fall over. Just to let, slowly let go and see what happens. Yeah, I'm going to have to come up with an idea here. Just, I'm going to push stop here for a minute. There. Near as I can tell, that's, that's pretty close. Okay, now the, the other one is going to mate up with it like like this. I, maybe I should wait a little bit here. Maybe we will use a little bit less this time. There, it's in. Now this one is wanting to stay there all by itself. So make sure it's square. It's staying there all by itself, exactly where it's supposed to be, without a sanding stick. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, that's, maybe I'm better off doing it like this. Now this is a real delicate one. Maybe I should be using Tony's tweezers here so I can...
It's in. It's in. It almost wants to stay in place. put a sanding stick on the top very very gently now don't want to press too much because it'll buckle Too bad. I got the uh, door made. Oh, fantastic. Okay, just let me move up so that your leaf isn't so tight on you. She likes to shake her head, doesn't she? Yes, she does. After nine, this might be a real good place to quit. Let the let these connections, you know, dry properly, and uh, there still will be enough springing going on that I can, when I get this piece put in place, I can adjust everything, get it lined up. Uh, yeah, yeah, there is this this piece has to go in. I suppose I could do that now, but you know, there's there's no end to. You know, just one more piece, one more piece, one more piece. I, I think we're going to call it quits here for today. I'm going to go out and work on my bike box. I might go for a bike ride later this afternoon. We'll see what happens. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>